Welcome to Delish Food and Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make mushroom bindai. Here I've got some oil that's already warmed up. It's about 1.5 tablespoon. I'm going to add in my turmeric, my garlic cloves. There's eight garlic cloves that I've sliced. Now I'm going to add in some mushroom. I have 300 gram washed and sliced mushroom. And since it's fresh mushroom, so I have to fry it first. And then I'm going to proceed. Now that the mushroom have softened, it took me around seven minutes. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of garlic paste, one teaspoon of ginger paste, around one teaspoon of salt, I'll just according to your taste. I'll give it a mix. You will notice when you were frying it, it was kind of dry. Because I put 1.5 tablespoon of oil. But now you can see it's releasing the oil and also the water from the mushroom. I'm going to add in a big chopped onion. I'm going to give it a mix. If you want it more yellow, you can add more turmeric. This depends on you. I'm happy with this color. I'm going to add in some chilies that I've cut into halves. I'm using six chilies. You can put as much as you want. I'm going to give it another mix. I'll just leave it to cook for two minutes. As in Windai, the onion is usually crunchy. But it all depends on how you like yours. I'm now going to add whole grain mustard, one tablespoon. I'm going to switch off my stove. Because mustard sometimes become bitter. That's why you have to add it nearly the last minute. And I'm also going to add half tablespoon of date vinegar. You can add any vinegar you like flavor you like. I like to use apple cider or date vinegar because I think the smell is not that strong. Here you are. My mushroom vindai is ready to serve with a crunchy baguette. Uh, this portion can serve for four people if you are eating it like as a portion but if you are having it as a side order it would be six people can share it 
Thanks for watching. See you soon for another recipe. Bye bye.